Good morning, PCHS. It's Wednesday, March 13th. I'm Kaylin DeVito. And I'm Sophie Ward. Welcome back to Bullseye News. Here's your latest headlines. Oppenheimer dominates the Oscars, winning seven awards, one of them being Best Picture. This movie was a hit and box office smash, and from the very start was a clear-cut frontrunner. Not only did they win Best Picture at the Oscars, but they also took Best Picture home from the Golden Globes and the Producers Guild of America. The company confirmed Cormac Keenan, who was, has led it since 2020, is stepping back into a strategic advisory role, working with company's senior leadership team. TikTok's Global Trust and Safety Unit will fall under the leadership of Adam Presser. However, TikTok Trust and Safety Unit will otherwise remain in place as it is. We are two weeks out from spring break. Let's head over to see our forecast for the week. Hey Bulls, White here with your weather update. It's daylight savings times, which means it's darker in the mornings and brighter later than day. With the lows for the rest of the week are going to be in the 60s and the highs are going to be in the 80s. There will be no chance of rain for the rest of the week. That's all for weather. Back to you at the desk. This is the last week to turn in guest forms for prom. All forms are due next Monday and the last day to buy tickets is next Friday the 22nd. With prom in mind, remember all student debt must be paid off prior to purchasing a ticket. And seniors, all debt must be paid off before graduation. For lunch today, we are having rancho, tornadoes, chicken sandwiches, flatbread, juice, and your choice of fruit or vegetable. We have a few events this week for sports before spring break. Let's see what's in store for us. Good morning, Bulls. How you doing? It's Zig with here in the Sports Corner, and here's what's up for your sports this week. Let's take a look at last night's games. Tomorrow, the girls' beach volleyball team goes to play Braden River. The boys' varsity baseball team plays Clinton tonight at 6 on our home fields. The girls' softball team plays Durant tonight at 7 and plays River Ridge tomorrow at 5, with both games being home. Also, the girls' lacrosse team plays Clearwater Central Catholic tonight at 5 at our home fields. Finally, the boys' lifting team goes to Manatee High School tomorrow at 4.30. Make sure to buy tickets on the GoPen app. That's here for sports. Back to you guys at the desk. Good luck to all of the Bulls taking the SAT tomorrow. Be sure to get plenty of rest and try your best on the exam. Also, this is the last week of quarter three. Keep your grades up as teachers enter them into focus. As a reminder, this Friday is record day, meaning no school. If you're struggling or need help with work, head over to Peer Tutoring on Tuesdays from 2.30 to 3.30 and room 5136. There is an additional teacher to help with students with math. No sign-ups needed, just stop on by. If you'd like to see something aired on the news, send us an email at pchstvproduction at gmail.com. If you missed the show, head to our YouTube page, like, and subscribe to see all things happening around campus. Enjoy your week. We'll see you tomorrow. And as always, Go Bulls!